Okay, I'm going to try this uh, one more time. Um, I did this to uh, solve a particular problem. I had trouble getting a, a book from the library to uh, go on our e-reader, and I don't know if it was the Kobo's fault or the library's fault or my fault, or probably my fault, but either way, um, I stumbled across uh, this program. Uh, it's called uh, Caliber uh, eBook Management, or Calibre, or my, it should be pronounced Caliber. That's how it should be pronounced, but I don't actually know what it is. And um, <clears throat> that's a, it's a really great uh, free program for managing any type of ebook. So the first thing you do is I downloaded that, and you can see this is what it looks like when you're open here. And um, you have a list of things. I didn't bring my uh, Kobo downstairs, obviously, so that uh, doesn't show up. But if I did, it would just show up in the side here, and there'd be a couple other things on the top. So the first thing, uh, I guess, is to... Um, is to just uh, say that that's uh, the first thing you need to do is download Caliber and uh, get that uh, get that going. Plug your Kobo into it. Uh, see what it looks like. You're going to get some choices to do do some things. Um, the second thing to do is uh, is you can then drag all sorts of things into it. But um, the second thing to do is is to actually put some content into Caliber. And you can see that there's a place here called Add Books. And you can add books from all sorts of different things. Um, if you download stuff from the library, it uh, goes into that uh, Adobe Digital Editions and it has its own folder. And if you download stuff from Kobo, it goes into its own folder. And if you download stuff from Kindle, it goes into its own folder. And it can be a mess to find. So I put some shortcuts here of my stuff. You can see the nice thing, this uh, My Kindle content. Um, when you pull stuff uh, from that, it uh, gives you this easy to understand uh, file name here. So I really just do it by date and size. So here's the the actual file is here, this AZW file. That's the Kindle store file. I have no idea what any of that means, but that's one of the books that I did for a trial. And the digital edition ones, they come in these, uh, once you've actually imported it, it's going to go into this as an EPUB format, but that has file protection on it, as do these. And so we can take one of these, and uh, and if we, if we add it here and hit open, um, it's going to add it to, uh, to that. And I've actually already done that, so you can see that um, it opens in this format here, this Mobi format, and that's the format for... Kindles, and it, you can't read it on Kobo. You can put it on your Kobo, but it just gives you a bunch of gibberish. And so once it's in there, you can um, go to this Convert Books up here, and it's going to give you a, an option to convert that from an input format, this Mobi, to an output format, this EPUB. And there's, see, there's a whole bunch of different things. If you were feeling adventurous, you could try a different output format. And most things will convert pretty good. And so you hit it OK, and it would would grind through and, and convert that book. The problem is is that it has a, a digital rights management or DRM applied to it and it won't let you actually convert it right out of the box. So you need to uh, install some plugins uh, for these. And so uh, what you need to do is you need to find uh, this site here and uh, let's see if you go up, it's called Apprentice Elf's Blog, uh, which immediately uh, should make you think this is a little sketchy. Um, but uh, it, it works, it doesn't have any viruses on it or anything. Uh, there's a little guide here talking about the DRM and ePub formats, and he's got lots of good information actually on it, um, even the ethics of DRM removal. <clears throat> and then there's a, a list here, and it's got um, 11 steps that you need to go through. Um, and so the first thing is downloading and installing uh, Caliber for your operating system. The second thing is this combined tools package. And so what you need to do is you need to go and, and click on that. That'll take you to another page, which just gives you a link to another file. And you go to that, and there's a little thing to click here. Um, and so we click this download, uh, click here. And something else is probably going to open behind here. And go save file, and I'll save to wherever it saves your files to. Notice it happens pretty quickly. Um, and once I've done that, it's downloaded. I'm going to actually go back uh, two spots to get back to my original, the instructions, I guess, page. So that's sort of ready if you need it. And then I'm going to go and actually find that file. And it's going to be in my downloads folder here. So you can see it's right at the top as it's uh, sort of by date here. And it's called tools underscore uh, version 5.0.zip. And we need to uh, 
open that zipped file. Now on a Mac you just uh, down double click on that, it's going to open that, unzip it, and stick it for some reason down here. Um, but it tells you where it is. And if you open that, there's a thing called Caliber Plugins. There's actually other things in here too that are kind of neat. But um, And you'll notice that there's, there's a, a number of different uh, other zip files. Don't do anything with those. You got to do, uh, do that right in Caliber. Um, but that's where they are. And uh, you need to sort of remember where that is, I guess. And uh, it's not too hard usually, but um, if you're like me and you've got a bunch of uh, garbage everywhere that clutters up everything, then that can be harder to do. So you can always uh, make a shortcut to that or whatever, but I know where it is. Um, then we're going to go back to our uh, caliber program. We're going to open that up and we're going to go into the preferences and uh, that's up above here in my my toolbar um, for that or my menu bar and open up the preferences uh, for this and go down to the advanced section where it says plugins and we'll double click that plugins thing. There's a whole bunch of uh, plugins um, and don't worry about that because it's going to know where to get it but you're going to go down in the right hand corner here and go to this load plugin from file. Uh, that's going to open up um, uh, the places that you, you need to go and in fact uh, that's in my downloads thing. It's in this tools, caliber plugins and again there's five different formats and you need to install all five of those. Uh, even if you don't use them um, it's probably best to install all five of them. And so what you do is you just select the one you want, uh, click open. Uh, it's going to give you a little security risk thing here. Um, only install if you got it from a trusted source. Well, let's say yes anyways. And we're going to install that. Um, it's going to say it was successfully installed under file type plugins and it's going to ask us to restart Caliber. And this is the actual files that it installed. Um, this one here, which is kind of crazy. Uh, and you're going to do that for every one. So and go back to the load plugin by file and select the next one, next one, next one, next one. And do that five times. Um, then you're going to restart uh, Caliber. And, uh, <coughs> oh, you see, I actually can't do that. But first hit apply. Do that first. And close. Won't let me do that. And then we'll restart Caliber. And we'll get that back open here. And once Calibre is open, uh, you're now ready to add content and convert it and uh, into the format that you need, uh, no matter where it's from. So there's that little program there. So I'm just going to go to Kindle here, and uh, you can see there's a whole bunch of of, of things. Now, if you if you haven't um, gone, you can go to Amazon.com, go to the Kindle eBooks uh, section. If you don't have an Amazon account, uh, obviously set one up. Um, I like to sort things by price and you know if you go to uh, sort high to low uh, you get actually uh, kind of alarming uh, prices. I didn't know that there were six thousand uh, dollar Kindle ebooks on there um, but if you're really interested in nuclear energy for instance or uh, carbon atoms uh, you could buy a six thousand dollar book. I'm not sure Pamela would be very happy with me but um, I like to go the other way and, and look for things that are priced low to high. That's my, my favorite here. And there's a, a whole bunch of things that are, are essentially free. I'm going to look under, uh, see if there's any good free uh, travel books. Ooh, that would be good. Let's look for free travel books. All right. um, oh, probably not. Ooh, this one's in German. I'll buy that one. It's free. And... You go to this, uh, didn't save any money that time, it was always free, and uh, buy this, and it, this one's uh, going to go, I'm going to send it to my touchpad, um, but you buy the uh, one click, uh, it's nice because they send you a bill for nothing, and go to my Kindle app here, and I'll just uh, reload my library, um, but it'll actually put a link to that pretty much immediately on here. The all items. There it is. And uh, it's got this little cloud with the download thing. So I'm actually going to download that book. And real quick, oh, there it is. I'm back to my library. So that's actually in my downloaded items now. And uh, again, I have to keep in mind, it won't 
give me anything useful there. But I'm going to go back to my caliber here. I'm going to go to Add Books. Um, my Kindle content, you can see this is at here, 12.18 a.m., so that's uh, I stay up too late here. So I tried to do this before, and it didn't work about an hour ago. Um, and I'm going to open that. And it's going to take a second to add it. It gives you a, a completely uh, useless progress bar because it doesn't show anything. And then it'll just show you when it's finished. Um, it's got a nice long progress bar. And then I'm going to convert that book. You can see it's in the Mobi format here. And uh, that's no good to us. So we're going to convert that to EPUB. And I'm not going to make any changes. But you can see there's actually a whole bunch of different things you can do. Um, if it doesn't work properly or whatever, look and feel and play around with that. And I'm just going to convert it. And you can see that there's uh, it says uh, starting conversion of one book up in the corner here. It has a jobs thing working down in the corner here. So it's working on converting that file. And this isn't a very big file, so it shouldn't take too long. And it's done. And you can see that now it's not just in the Mobi format, it's in the EPUB format. And uh, it's going to give you uh, that information. So now if we plug in our Kobo, it would show up on the side here. There'd be a little thing that tells us um, that we can manage that device or we can send it to that device or we could just drag it actually uh, right onto that and um, and it would put on your Kobo and you would be reading a travel book in German before you know it. Wouldn't that be fun? And that's all there is to it. It's actually not that bad. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know, but give that a try. And if everything goes completely screwy, I'll change my address. Thanks.